Hey everyone, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the initial setup process of configuring the ATAS order flow trading software for a demo account. Now, please keep in mind, this tutorial is going to assume that you're starting off from our demo signup page here, so we'll pick up the process from here. And also keep in mind that this tutorial can be used for live accounts as well. It's just in this video, we're going to be sticking with demo, but just remember the functionality remains the same and so does the setup process. So if this is your first time using the ATAS demo, you've probably already been to this page, but first you're going to go ahead and click on open demo account. We're just going to fill this in with our information here and then go ahead and click on try free demo. Now, what's most important here is this page on our thank you page here. This is what's going to create you a rhythmic username and password. Your username will be the email that you register with. Your password you will choose for yourself, so just keep that in mind. This form is absolutely necessary, though, to register and fill out because without it, you're just going to have a platform without data. So you'll go ahead, fill in all this information here, um, choose yourself a password. It must be six characters. Go ahead, fill out the CAPTCHA here. And once you're done, go ahead and click activate data feed. It'll take a second. It'll say success. And as you can read here, your next step is to expect an email from the Rhythmic administration team. Now, please keep in mind that Rhythmic is very strict with their demos. If you've tried a Rhythmic demo within the past year, whether it be from another platform, another broker, it does not matter. Rhythmic tracks all the users who have requested demos. And if you have done with one within the past year, you likely are no longer eligible. So please keep that in mind. If you're trying out a test through us and you try and sign up for a rhythmic demo in this form and you don't receive anything, it's likely due to the fact that you've tried rhythmic in the past. So just keep that in mind. It may be a little bit out of our control, but as long as you know that going into it, you shouldn't have any issues. Now, the next process is to head over to your email. And as you can see, this is the email that you'd be expecting from Rhythmic. It's going to ask you to sign in with your user ID here. You click on this link to activate it. This is quite an old email for me. I'm no longer eligible for a Rhythmic demo due to the reasons I just mentioned. But this is fairly what it'll look like. Um, it'll ask you instead of the activation failed here, it'll ask you to sign in view agreements. So you go ahead, sign in with the username and password you created. On the next screen, you will see two agreements that you need to sign and activate um, in order to successfully activate your account fully. One of the agreements will ask you to declare it as a non-professional or a professional. So just make sure you submit that. Once you complete those agreements, you're basically done with this step and your Rhythmic account is now active. Now during throughout this entire process, once you sign out on the form, if you actually head back to the email, You'll notice we do send you some sign up instructions, including the tutorial of this video, as well as the steps you need to take in order to get Rhythmic up and running. So Rhythmic or excuse me, ATAS has their own sign up process. So you're going to want to click on here to sign yourself up for an ATAS account. Go ahead and fill out your first name, your email address and your phone number, and then ATAS will follow up with you via email. Now, once they do, they'll send you credentials for your personal area of ATAS, which looks like this. This is basically the ATAS portal. If you decide to go live with this platform, you can purchase and manage your subscriptions through this page. Or if you want to try out the demo, you can go ahead and click on download right here. Go ahead and click on ATAS download. This will automatically start your downloadable executable file and you can proceed through the installation. Now, I already have ATAS downloaded, so it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the ex executable file, the process, and when you're done with everything, you'll get prompted with the login screen. If you're not sure what your credentials are, you can go ahead and click this link to navigate back to the personal area. Your username and password is actually in the top left up here. So you can go ahead and click on that little eye icon right here to see what your username and password is. You can go ahead and just copy that, paste it into ATAS, and then same thing with the password. Go ahead and paste that in there. Go ahead and click on connect. And within a second here, we should have ATAS loaded up. So let's give it a minute to boot up and I'll show you how to connect to your rhythmic data. All right, so we're in, now we need to connect. 
All right, so in order to connect, we're gonna have to click on this feed source down at the bottom. By default, it should probably be in green letters and it'll actually be connected. Um, as you can notice by default, ATAS actually has a built-in SIM mode and they give you a crypto SIM, which will give you some crypto data. We're focused on futures right now, so let's show you how to connect to Rhythmic Data. We can go ahead and disconnect this now. Go ahead and click add. Find the data feed that you'd like to connect with. Of course, again, in our demo, we're using Rhythmic. But remember, with the live account, this process remains identical. We do have the option to connect to CQG. We've shown that off in another video. In this one, we'll use Rhythmic. We work with Gain Futures, CTS as well. So if you use that with us, you'll just use those options. So we'll go ahead and click on Rhythmic. Now we need our login. I already have my own Rhythmic login here, but remember, the email address that you registered with on our thank you page form right here is going to be your username. And remember, you chose the password right here. So you should know it. If you're confused or you can't find it, you could always drop us an email at supportedoptimistfutures.com and we can help you out with your credentials. So again, I'm going to be using a rhythmic paper trading account um, that we've got from other means. But again, this is basically the same demo you're using. I'll go ahead and put in my login. I'll go ahead and put in my password. And then we need to choose a server. If you aren't familiar, the demo server for rhythmic is called rhythmic paper trading. So by default here, as you can see, it's already set to that. If you are using a live account, you want to be selected to rhythmic 01. Of course, you choose a server that's closest to you to get the best ping. Um, go ahead and select it. In our case, we'll go with the Paper Trading Chicago since we're doing a demo. And then we click on finish. You can use this plugin feature if you plan on using ATAS along with RTrader Pro or another platform concurrently. I won't get into this video. Um, if there's enough demand, I can show this off. We have demonstrated this in our other videos before on how to use RTrader Pro as a plugin. So if there's any questions, you can come to our community forum or leave us a comment in the comment section down below on how to use this and what exactly this is for. But now that we have our username and password entered in and the proper server type selected, go ahead and click on finish. You can see it now, Rhythmic, and it shows name. If you like, you can do auto connect. And if you plan on using this as your primary connection, you may want to disable SIM and crypto from auto connect and then go ahead and enable Rhythmic for auto connect. That way you don't have to sit there and manually do it every time. Go ahead and click connect. And there we go. We're now connected to Rhythmic Live Data. And that about ends it for this tutorial. Um, the main goal is to show you guys how to get connected to your live Rhythmic account or paper trading demo, of course. Um, and that pretty much covers it. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the community forum or come down to the comment section below. Um, and we appreciate you watching. Thanks.